about versatile? Soda cans. I love soda cans. I love the colors of them. I love to, to create with them. I have a whole line of jewelry that I've made out of soda cans. I love to, uh, to kind of, and you know, the funny thing, I don't even drink soda, <laughs> but I love to use them. I have friends that actually drop them off at my front door so that I can create with them, or sometimes I just go buy them and I just pour them out. <laughs> so take a look at what I came up with, this fabulous sculpture. To make this project, you're going to need a couple of the aluminum soda cans. And all I do is take a craft knife, hook it into the can, and cut off the top and the bottom. And so when you're done, you'll have pieces like this. So I put my fish pattern onto the inside of the can and take a stylus and outline it. And then just cut it out. And I'm using just dollar store scissors because I can use them for a while and then when they get um, where they're dull I just throw them away. But they cut really easily. And make sure you try and get all of your edges pretty smooth. So what that means is when you're cutting, try not to chop cut. Do your cuts in longer. If you go around corners and inside curves and you keep it where it's in one motion, then you don't get the choppy cuts where then, then you'd have like little edges that would cut. And I noticed with cutting soda cans, as long as you don't have any pointed edges, everybody always asks me uh, for jewelry, isn't it sharp? As long as you don't have any um, pointed edges, then if someone touches it, it's, it's not sharp. Just curve all your edges. And here I notice I have a little place that I have a little piece sticking out. I want to make sure that nothing's going to hurt you. Okay, this is going to be the front side of our... Um, fish. Now we want to make sure that it's, before I go to just kind of emboss it, make sure it's a little bit straighter. And as I emboss it, it does um, flatten out. Okay, on the, the uh, background here, I have some uh, craft foam. I like to use the craft foam because it, it gives me a, a surface that gives a little bit of pull and push so that I, it's soft so I can um, emboss. I'm using my stylus again, and what you do is just go and do, put your eye, Okay, so we have it all on the silver, completely embossed on this side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it over, and we're going to go over, and this pushes it out on the other side. So to color him, I'm going to put, use the alcohol inks. I've put a um, covering over the um, foam. And just drop the alcohol inks. And they spread a little bit, and then you can also use a, um, a brush.
And if you mix them, you can see you're getting different colors. Between the blue and the green, you're getting some different colors. And that's what you want. Next thing we can do is we can take some of the scraps that you cut from and you can make the seaweed. Or just um, use another, just start with another piece. But you're going to do the same thing. You would emboss them the same way. And I have a little piece here already embossed for a little piece of seaweed. And I take a just a piece of skewer stick and I'm going to glue it to the back. Usually I just put a little bit there, put it on, and I use a clothespin to hold it until it dries. Now for the base, I took a um, can and I just put it on the ground and I smashed it down. And it doesn't bother me that it has a little rip there, that's okay. So in order to put all the pieces into the base, I just put a little figure out where I want my seaweed and put a little bit of glue on the end of this and then it would go into this hole like that. Let me show you my final piece. Okay, here's the plate, the piece. And you can see my base now. I also covered it with the um, alcohol inks and I did put even, I came back with a little bit of a silver, I sponge painted a little bit of a silver um, uh, acrylic paint on the base. And here's my seaweed. And on this particular seaweed, the tall one, I just glued the fish to the tall one. Again, using a uh, clothespin until it dried. Super simple to do, and look how pretty it is.